Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Cindy Cook, who is the Deputy Head of the Delegation of Canada, as well as being Chair of the Ad Hoc Group of the Plenary, and uh, Luciana Camargos, who is a member of the Brazilian Delegation, as well as being Co-Chair of the Network of Women. Luciana, Cindy, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, Cindy, perhaps that you could tell us a little bit about uh, a declaration that has happened here at uh, WRC 19. It's uh, quite a unique declaration, and uh, perhaps you could uh, give us a little insight into uh, what's uh, been declared here. Uh, certainly. So, um, there was an input contribution from many countries that was uh, actually spearheaded uh, by Luciana and her co-chair Jennifer Manor to raise awareness of gender equality and parity and, and balance. And uh, I was very fortunate to be chosen as the chairman of the ad hoc group that took a look at that document and made edits to it and then moved it up to plenary for approval today. So the, uh, the declaration is about raising awareness about the gender issues, about um, declaring and trying to move the ITUR to incorporate more gender mainstreaming um, in its, uh, its hiring and its processes and its day-to-day -day work, um, not just at the uh, Bureau but also by its membership and, and participants in the meetings, and then setting a plan forward for um, what can we do going forward. So um, inviting administrations to consider um, as well a possible resolution for the next cycle on the same topic and as well asking the uh, Radio Communications Bureau to keep track of um, some of the statistics around gender. And Luciana, you've been involved with the network of uh, women fighting for uh, women to be uh, seen and heard here at uh, Radio Communication events. How do you feel now that uh, this de declaration has been made? For me it's, it's a great victory. Um, I. I've co-chaired in this cycle the network of women with Jennifer Manor and it's been great throughout the meetings, throughout the ITUR meetings and also at CPM and trying to pair some, uh, some mentors with some mentees and to basically guide and try to help the newcomers to the ITU. And this work has been very, very, very good, but we still see uh, not a big participation of women in the delegations. In this conference we're only 18% and um, it, it, in chairmanship roles it's even less in heads of delegation it's even less, although we do have some uh, very big delegations here with, with uh, heads of Del who are women. So for us this is a really big step in the right direction to be able to bring more women delegates to these meetings, especially as a commitment from the member states to do that, but also as a commitment from the Bureau to look into, uh, into more women into their hiring as well. So I think it's, a, it's many elements, as Cindy was saying, it's a many, many elements declaration. Cindy, what do you hope uh, that uh, this declaration will achieve for the work of the ITU uh, radio communication sector in real terms? So, um, in real terms, I mean, as Luciana was saying, obviously we want to try and increase the percentage of women that are participating in the work, um, in all levels of the work. So, as um, delegates to the meetings who are taking on the, the technical roles, becoming the technical experts on a topic and, and you know, fighting those issues and bringing them forward, but also in the leadership roles, leadership roles within the delegations, leadership roles within the ITUR, um, in the, within the Bureau itself. Um, I think as well though, uh, part of the declaration is trying to encourage member states to um, increase the numbers of girls that are taking on the ICT um, t uh, uh, education. You know, get more girls into STEM, increase the number of uh, girls and women in the field. And I think that's important and part of what I hope will come out of this resolution, or the story of this declaration as well, is um, that uh, we will get more of a female perspective around um, t uh, radio communications. Now, Luciana, let's talk about the, the network of women, something that you've been involved with uh, as, a, as a mentor uh, and involved, as I say, as a, as a co-chair as well. Are you encouraged about the, the way that the, the ITU radio communication sector is going? Yes, very much so. I think it's really important to highlight the work that Hanan and Asiri has done from the BR. Uh, she's been taking on so much in terms of uh, launching this program and getting the mentees and the mentors to register and to pair them together. It's really important. When I started 20 years ago, I navigated through the ITU corridors myself and it, it's daunting. It, it's really difficult to understand what is going on and there's so many meetings and so many color documents 
And um, having someone to help guide you through this, especially if you come from a smaller delegation, makes the whole difference. And I have, I have feedback from the mentors and from the mentees that they're both enjoying the experience a lot because the mentors learn a lot from the mentees as well. Cindy, finally, I wanted to ask you, what do you think is most needed when it comes to ensuring that more women play a leadership role in radio communications? I, I think it's encouragement and opportunities. So one part of the um, declaration asks for um, women to be uh, given more opportunities where they can um, learn and where they can grow um, in their efforts. And I think that's really important. I think if we're going to move people um, all people, including women, up through the ranks of the leadership ranks, they need to be given some, some opportunities to um, learn what it's like to be a chairman, to learn what it's like to take the floor, to um, progress in their efforts within the ITUR. And uh, so I think the, you know, those opportunities are what's really important. And as people gain confidence in their abilities, they take on even larger roles with more responsibility, and then they will gradually move their way up. So I, yeah. Opportunity is my word. <laughs> and Luciana, as, as a mentor, seeing people come from the ground up? Yes, absolutely. It, it, it's really rewarding to see that uh, starting from presenting input contributions to maybe taking a chairman position from a small drafting group and then taking, walking their way up through the ITU. And that's what we would like to see. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. I know it's been a really busy time here in the last week of uh, WRC, but we managed to, to rush you in here. But thanks very much indeed. And uh, very best of luck for the end of the conference. Great news about this declaration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.